Now, if you watch Monday Night Raw, you obviously know that on Friday Night Smackdown, Bray Wyatt will debut a new face in the Firefly Funhouse. And of course, that's led to a lot of speculation what it could mean, who it could mean. But the best thing for me is it means the story of the Firefly Funhouse is not over yet. There is more to come, more to play out. And I really can't wait to see what that is. Now, the first thought I had was the puppets, the original puppets of the Funhouse. And let's talk about them for a minute because, yes, they represent people and past moments of Bray Wyatt, but they could also represent his personality. You've got Ramblin' Rabbit, the fact he used to ramble on in promos. You've got Mercy the Buzzard, the anger and the hatred. Makes sense, right? Huskus the Pig Boy, representing the greed. And you've got Abby the Witch, who represents that concern. And that almost that one part of him that let people like Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton come in. And then all of a sudden they turn their back on him. All these are different personality traits. So it's possible that we see a whole brand new puppet. A sheep would be my favourite. I said this before on the channel. Remember something sheep? Well, he is my favourite because you used to have Eric Rowan and Braun Strowman and they used to wear sheep masks. They were sheep for Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt led lambs to the slaughter. It would make perfect sense to get a whole new puppet. So that is a possibility. It's not my favourite outcome. It's not my best theory. My favourite, unfortunately, is that Daniel Bryan's face will be added to the wall of friendship. And I think this is the most likely outcome. Yes, he's debuting a new face in the Funhouse. Daniel Bryan's face has not been on the wall of friendship yet. It would make perfect sense for it to be included. He is now a victim of the Fiend. So... I think that's the most likely outcome, i got to admit. I don't want it to be. I want it to be something big. And who could that be? Of course, Liv Morgan. And yes, I know a lot of people right now will be saying, see, you're crazy. It will never be Liv Morgan. She has nothing to do with the fun house. Yes, I agree. It's very hard, especially as time goes on, to keep justifying theories to do with Liv Morgan. But... It's wrestling. Never say never. She did tweet out after Survivor Series the word almost. Is she almost ready to return? It's possible. And then, of course, today, minutes after the original announcement of this Funhouse new face thing, Liv tweeted out a WWE logo upside down. I did quote tweet it on Twitter and said, does this mean Liv Morgan is going to turn the WWE upside down? That's more than possible. I'm really interested in this because I really do want to see Liv Morgan portrayed in such like a dark character role. I think that mixed with the bratty character she used to have could be perfect. It could be the ultimate darkness character in wrestling. And I really do think she could pull that off. And that's why I've got to include it because it is a just theory. And of course, the other one is that Bray Wyatt himself gets a new face. Now, since the Funhouse's debut, we've seen Bray Wyatt have multiple masks, whether it's the paper plate in front of his face to represent the Fiend, whether it's the Fiend himself, whether it's Funhouse Bray, or whether it's the Clown Bray Wyatt, the one that squashed Rambling Rabbit. We've seen these personalities of Bray Wyatt come out. Who's to say there isn't another one? It's definitely going to be interesting. There is so many possibilities. The new puppet theory is a cool one because it could be a puppet of a goat to represent Daniel Bryan. It could be a puppet of anyone. It could be his next victim. It's definitely possible. Let me know, as you always do, your thoughts down in the comments section below. Really interested to see what you guys have to say. Like the video. Make sure you share it on social media so your friends can find it. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll, as always, see you next time. Peace.